We've been waiting for a Jaguar XJ8 for quite a while now, and this particular car is certainly worth the wait. It's done just 82,000 kilometres since it was new, and it's got the 3.5 litre V8 petrol engine. The car is in absolutely stunning condition. As you can see, it's champagne with cream, leather interior. It's got parking sensors, navigation, a wood grain steering wheel, and a very, very good service history to it. It's also got the newer six-speed automatic transmission. The condition right down to the wheels is very good. Look down the side here, can't see any dents, scrapes, scratches whatsoever. Someone's really loved this car. I think the next service is due at about 88,000 kilometres, so it's got at least another 6,000 kilometres before it needs a service. You can see the parking sensors there. It's got the nice big twin exhaust system. It really is a very nice colour. It's got two keys. So here's all the books. So you can see here, it's gone to this KNC service repair centre. I think I've got about six or seven receipts from them. So it's always been well looked after. It's got a full size spare, soft closed boot working beautifully. And look, I mean, I've been looking around myself for a while, and there's not a lot of XJ8s. You generally find a lot from the late 90s and XJ6s from the mid 90s. But I'm not seeing a lot in this shape, so we're very happy when this came along, especially in this colour combination. I took another XJ8 the same year as this. Um, I drove it to Palm Beach and back, and it had a 3.5 litre V8. It had 170,000 kilometres, and I was surprised by how much power came from the three and a half litre. I think the six speed automatic transmission certainly helps. For me, the three and a half litre V8 is, um, is somewhat similar to the older four litre V8, which was in the late 90s and they made it up till about 2002. And also got a very good fuel consumption. I think from memory I was getting around 13 litres per 100 k's when I was driving, which is pretty impressive for a car this size. But it's just one of those cars we get every now and then. I just can't stop looking at it. It's absolutely gorgeous. And it's even nicer to drive. But if you've been looking for an XJ8, you've probably found a lot of them have done 200,000 kilometres or 150,000 kilometres. This is just 82,000 kilometres. Then uh, I'd certainly book an inspection to come and have a look and a drive of this car. If you're interstate, I'd be more than happy to answer any questions you might have about the car. It's got rear blinds. And it really is just a beautiful car. And obviously, in this price range, there's other cars you can buy, BMW 7 Series or an S-Class or a Lexus LS, whatever it may be. But for me personally, I think this... It's just, it just a little bit different. As I said, you don't see a lot of them around. I think they're reliable, economical, and they look fantastic. But you do see lots of LS series and 7 series and S classes around, and you don't see a lot of XJ8s these days. And for me personally, I much prefer the, this XJ8 shape um, to the later XJ. I think it's a lot more classic. And um, I can see these down the track being quite desirable. There's the glove box, navigation CD. Yeah, it's very, very nice. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch our video. Our location is Marrickville in Sydney. We're about 20 minutes from the airport. Thanks again for watching, and we look forward to hearing from you.